And still on education in a bid to bring back the lost glory of education in the semi-arid Mbere South constituency in Embu County, education stakeholders have come together to strategize on how to address challenges facing the sector. They are proposing changes among them the approach in training learners to ensure they attain the proper skills required. At a consultative forum that brought together teachers and other stakeholders in Mbere South, Teachers exchanged ideas on how to handle the syllabus for better learning outcomes. The lack of skills by learners to tackle examination questions was identified as one of the biggest challenges. It's not really being coached or grilling them to just pass exams, no. It is being able to pass or to prove through examinations that they have actually uh, covered the syllabus and they have learned what they were supposed to learn and so they should be able to answer the exams properly. We also feel that uh, those um, factors like the monitor which used to be used to be able to help the children not to talk the mother tongues and the shanks should also be brought back so that at least they're able to control the usage of uh, those, those broken languages and uh, also shanks in the schools. Because the more you use the shanks, the, the worse you become in uh, writing grammatical English and also uh, in work which requires proper language and it's uh, Institutions were called upon to ensure that practical lessons are inculcated during studies. If it's a topic like machines, then the children will interact with the wheelbarrows to find and identify where the fulcrum is, where the load is, and the pivot. And because this time now they were taught theoretically, then we expect them to do a lot of practical work. The area member of parliament said that his office through the National Government Constituency Development Fund would enhance the school feeding program so as to ensure retention of learners in school. And we see how we can encourage the students to love school because they'll be having the good things they won't like to have even at home. That is of course proper feeding and also a good learning environment. Nancy Okwari, Lunchtime News.